Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to learn how we can apply ACL in the front end uh, with view and Laravel. You know we have already did that in the back end but in the front end we do not have ACL. So in this video you will learn how you can mm, use S Laravel ACL in the front end using Vue.js. So here I am using uh, Microsoft Edge because it is I think a lot faster than Chrome. Chrome is eating a lot of RAM like when I refresh it will take a long time to ref refresh refresh the page so if I go to mysql this is the current user we have admin3 and if I change the user type from here this is admin3 and the user type let's make it default to the user and if I refresh this is the user URL you know we are using view, the view router if I refresh the page it is going to display the table here but it is not going to show us the data because when it sends the HTTP request it is going to in the back end it is going to check that the current user is just a user so we should not see the table even here and we should not send even the HTTP request and the things like that so even if someone is going to come to the user we should display a 404 page this is what we can do using JavaScript you know for now it is going to do this one even if I go to developer here we have a developer uh, route here it is also going to show that the developer is uh, still they send the, the request because we did not protect it again for the user we can see everything here first of all let's close uh, let's hide this one from the current user because the current user is just a standard user okay again you know in the console it is going to give us the error that this was unsuccessful if you come to the network tab here you can filter by only xhr request here that's why we can get only http requests that we are going to send so i will just clean up everything i think there should be something to clean the request okay it's fine and now i just switch to my project here going to the resources view and from the view we have our master what i'm going to do is just i just want to hide the management the whole management for the current user because the current user is just a standard user so here is the management L li start from here and it will finish here for now again i will use the can is admin mm, because we have one all i can do is i can remove this and it will work for both of them so if i come to the edge and refresh the page yeah now we don't see it but still we have access to the user so this is what we are going to solve it should not send the http request it should not even display the table here this is what we are going to do in the front end now to do this one you must have access to the authenticated user information in the javascript you know what i mean because this is done with uh, vue.js you know we just uh, pull out the view component here so if I go to my application here, you know, in our asset JS component, uh, you know, if you are in the developer, if you are in the profile, for us it is in the user. Like we, we don't let the user to have access to this information. Now what I can do is, I want to have access to the authenticated user information here, and then I can check if the current user is authenticated or not, something like that. This is not difficult. I have made it a lot, a lot easy for you. So what I can do is, if I just to explain it more for you, you know, if I go to the app here, providers, auth service provider, in the auth service provider here, if I open it here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write a clause in JavaScript and I will just write something similar to this one. I mean, we should have a, let's say, a function that return if the current user is authenticated or not. What is the most important thing here? If you check out here, the most important thing is the current user. And that is all we need in our JavaScript file. So what I can do, this is completely reusable. You can use it uh, anywhere in your application. Uh, so that's why I just want to create another class here. So I will create a file and I will give the name of get.js any name you can just give it and right just write a class here uh, i think it should auto complete something like export yeah if i write export let me see if it can complete this or not yeah we have export but no i don't think if we have it so i will just export default and 
then you give the name class and the name should be git and now inside this git we will have all the functionality we need this is completely easy of course every class in JavaScript must have a constructor the constructor is basically when you are going to use git what you are going to pass inside so that is going to do the, con the constructor work is that is going to do so in here at the top I will just write constructor and our constructor is going to accept the user which is authenticated user for now we just I know I will show you how you can pass the uh, the authenticated user information to JavaScript like later in this video now we can say this that user is equal to user you know it will just assign a property here for instance you know in PHP we have like a user and that is public user this is going to do the same thing now uh, in our application now anywhere we have access to this user anywhere we can write so what I'm going to do is inside this we have a, our own function inside this class we have our own function the first function we need is like is admin so this function is also going to return true or false what this is going to do return this that user that type is equal to let's say you can write three equal sign to uh, admin of course this is going to return true mm, I hope it is not something complicated this is just a basic class we assume when we use the get we uh, pass the authenticated user information and after that we will have access to is admin is user everything for the other one we will write is user and this is going to say the user type is equal to user now what we can do is we can import the git in our application you know every thing we write a we will write um, them all the way down here you know we have javascript files here so i will write them somewhere let's say where we import the view here is we import the view and i will write it here so i will just write import get from and now i will specify the the file we are going to import of course this is in the current directory and the file name is equal to get that js and you don't need to write the js because we are using webpack here so now we have import the get now we can use the get here what else i'm going to show you if i scroll down a little did you remember the view progress bar just want to teach you something here if i come here we have already used the view progress bar anywhere when we update let's say when we update our information we say this dot progress bar dot start why we put dollar sign here and we say this dot progress bar dot start why we put the dollar sign here this is prototyping in javascript i mean whenever you want to have access to this um, progress bar anywhere in your application you can use prototype to do that one for us this is the same condition now what we are going to do is i want to have access to the git anywhere in my application when we use javascript so for that we can use prototyping here is how you do it you say view dot prototype dollar sign git and then it is a new instance of the git class we have here is the git and we use it like that and now anywhere in our application we can say this dot dollar sign git or this or even you can say get I will show you where you can use which one you can use so now that is all you have to do it is just fine the next thing is here we say we uh, we pass the like the current user like when when window that user what is window that user now we do not have window that user what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the current user is authenticated I'm going to get your information and I will store it in the window something like this where you can write this one if you come into your master page you can write it all the way up there maybe yes here how you can do is if you say auth oops yeah this is the new syntax in in uh, laravel that you say only authenticated user will do this uh, this happen only for authenticated user now inside this one and i will write something like this window that user is equal to and we pass at json you at user and it is going to store the authenticated inform user information to the window object this is that much simple so if i save it now in our app when we use the get 
we have access to current user information so this this is this is much simple for now if i come that is all you need to do for now if i come here and refresh the page here let's refresh it nothing has changed and everything should work the same way as it was but i just want to uh, show you that this time i am going to use condition to stop this request this request should not be seen it this should not display the table you want so how you do this one uh if i come to user here here is the user table you know we can use v show so what i can do is i can come here this is the cart where we display everything this is the cart here starting here if i want to hide this one if i can hide from here even so i will hide it and i will use v f and now when you use vf inside this one i can say get does is admin this is much simple that's why i can use dollar sign get because we used prototyping so i will save it for now and if i come to my application and i refresh it ow oh, as you can see this is going to display the the user information here did we say it should display this no we didn't but as you can see it didn't show the table here oh, okay I, i'll fix it why it is showing here because there is a little problem maybe so if i come to my master.blade.php here is art and it will end here and we do everything fine but why it is displaying here it is because we didn't put the script tag here oh i didn't know i forgot that so i will bring it all the way up so now it should fix the problem and i will save this part and if i come to application it did send the request here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stop it from sending the request so if i come to the user here you know which function is going to send the http request so if i come all the way down this is going to load the user so here i can write this dot dollar sign get that is admin and of course this is going to check true or false so i should write an if condition here and i will pull it up here that is one of the reason i use like function load user will load the user uh, here so if i come down you know we have created uh, okay it is going to do the same thing for us so if i save it this time it should not send the request if this condition is going to be false so if i come to my application okay one more thing here here i said this that git is admin but at the top here i didn't use this this is the difference like if you are going to use that inside uh, vf or any other statement uh, in vue.js you just say git that is admin and otherwise if you are going to use them inside your javascript you should write like this that get is admin and of course this the last one is the function so i will save it this time wait for the compile yes it did and if i refresh the page this time it should not send the http request and in the next video i will show you how you can display a 404 page like a nice 404 no it didn't send the http request so now i will just quickly come here and change the user type back to admin and let's see that if, if, is everything working or not if i refresh again it did display this information it should send the request yeah it is displaying all the user information here so i hope it has been informative for you i know video takes a little long but if you just rewatch it and uh, you will understand what i did it was not too much complex all i did was just create a class and writing this thing down that was plus explanation that might look a little complex but this is super super easy like how you can use acl in the front end so in the next video i will create a nice 404 page here make sure to watch it because this is going to be interesting and uh, if someone is not authorized to access any url they should display a 404 uh, page here using svg icons and svg graphics so see you in the next video